Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on the Motorola Edge 60 Pro. Okay, so now as you can see we are doing the setup process in here. Simply select your language and click on start. And now we have the first option that we are interested in, which is set up using another device. We're gonna use the second phone to transfer the data into that Motorola. So we want to click on Android device. Now we need to scan the QR code. Mm. So let's open up the camera on our second device. Let's launch the Google Lens above. Now scan this QR code. Okay, now we have something like that. We want to turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, now we need to enter the uh, password on our second device. So that is what I'm, what I'm going to do now. Okay, now we can see the information on the second device that we need to continue the setup on our new device. It's now it's connecting automatically into the Wi-Fi. Okay, in here we have privacy and security settings. I suggest you should leave it just like it is now, then click on accept and continue. Okay, now getting your phone ready, this might take a few minutes. Now we need to wait a little bit until this process is finished. Okay, now we have the checking info. Okay, now we need to verify using our PIN from the previous device, so simply Type it. Oh, I missed one button. Okay. Again, checking info. Okay, now we have option to set a pin right in here, but we don't need to do, it, do this right now. We can click on skip. We can always do it later in the settings. Okay, now copy data from your Android device. We want to click on next. Okay, getting ready to copy. Now let's simply wait a little bit. Okay, now we want to choose what we want to copy and we can copy apps, photos and videos, music and other audio, messages, device settings and the call history. For example, when it comes to the apps, we don't need to copy all of them, but if you click on the apps, in here you can manually select or unselect the apps that you want to copy or not to copy, so it's completely up to you. In my case, I don't want any of apps to be copied, I only want photos and videos, music and etc. Okay, click on copy. Okay, now we have the Google services. In here we can enable to use location and allow scanning and many others. I'm just gonna leave it just like it is now, then click on continue. Now the phone asks us, do we want to enable the backup? I suggest you should do it. So enable photos and videos and other device data. Click on turn on backup. Okay, now choose your browser and search engine, click on next. Now select your default browser, in my case it's gonna be Google Chrome. And the Google as my search engine. And we can click on to continue the setups. Click on I agree. Now we have the Gemini, which is the AI. If you want, you can turn it on. If you don't want, you can click on no thanks, it is completely up to you. All right. Now, on the second phone, we can see the information that the copying is done. Continue setup on your Motorola Edge 60 Pro. So it's good to see. Uh, I'm gonna skip the Google Pay. Mm, in here, I'm gonna click on OK. All right, 
Copying is done, photos and videos, music and other audio messages, device settings and the call history has been successfully copied. So click on OK. Now we need to wait a little bit again. Okay, now the Motorola asks us, do we want to stay in touch? We can click on allow notifications. We can click on sign in. It's completely up to you. You don't need to mm, accept for that. Mm, I don't want the live lock screen. Then click on next. Now select the theme. I'm going to leave the basic one. I'm going to skip the parental controls. Now click on finish. Click on go to my home screen. And now we are ready to use our device. All right, so that was the first method. All right, and now I'm gonna show the second method. So again, we are during the setup process. And now in here, we want to click on skip. Now we need to connect to the Wi-Fi manually. So simply select the Wi-Fi that we are interested in. Now I'm gonna log in. All right, then click on connect. Okay, in here again, click on accept and continue. Now let's wait. Okay, and we are after the landing screen. Now we have option to log in into the Google account. And in that case, in this method, sorry, we want to restore our backup from the Google one. So we need to log in into the same Google account on which we made the backup. Also, if you don't know how to create such a backup, also on our channel, there's a video when we are showing you the whole process. So if you want, you can look for it. All right, so now I need to type my mail. Okay. Once you have done it, simply click on next. And now type your password. Okay. Then again, click on next. Oh, miss click. I typed my password wrong. Okay, now it will work. Okay, in here, click on next. Click on I agree. Now we need to wait again. Now we need to uh, set a pin if you, if you want, but I'm gonna click on skip. We can always do it later. Okay, click on next. Okay, and now we have that option that we are looking for earlier, which is restore data from another device. So in here, we need to choose a backup from that list. It's all the backups that I have made. Uh, and now click on your backup that you want. Click on next. Now we need to uh, confirm using the lock screen from our uh, Motorola before the backup. Okay, simply type your lock screen and now choose what to restore and just like in the previous method you can copy apps contacts sms messages device settings and the call history so select what you want to restore click on restore that green button okay and now just like in the previous method i'm gonna click on accept i'm gonna rush it through right now i'm gonna turn on the backup now the browser let's select chrome now the google i want to continue the setup click on i agree click on continue in here also oh my bad i don't want to add any cards so i'm gonna click on skip click on ok now wait a little bit
okay we are after the loading screen uh, just like in the previous case I'm gonna click on I'm gonna sign in into everything I'm gonna disable the live lock screen I'm gonna leave the buttons as a gesture mode light the theme I'm gonna skip the parental controls click on finish now go to my home screen and now we are ready to use our device okay that's all in this video thank you all for watching if you found this video helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe